In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Sunday, the 24th of April, 2022. It is the second Sunday of Easter. The Church celebrates Divine Mercy Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 118. The response to the psalm is, Give praise to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. The second reading is taken from the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verses 9 to 11 verses 12 to 13, and verses 17 to 19. The Gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. I read from the Gospel. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now, Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and put out your hand, and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
The theme for today's meditation is Have mercy on us, O God, for we are sinners. Have mercy on us, O God, for we are sinners. Dear good people of God, every second Sunday of Easter celebrates the divine mercy of God. It is known as Divine Mercy Sunday. Today is the Feast of Mercy. Today, our Holy Mother, the Church, invites us, her children, to meditate and to contemplate the mercy of God. God is merciful. His mercy is boundless. The choice of the Sunday after Easter for Divine Mercy is to show the connection between the Paschal mystery of our redemption and the love and mercy that God has for all humankind. Jesus died at 3 p.m. on the cross on Good Friday. Consequently, every 3 o'clock is therefore the hour of mercy. He died for us out of love because of the mercy he had for us. He died to extend God's mercy to us, for God desires not the death of the sinner, but that he repents and lives. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23 and chapter 33 verse 11. Every time God extends his superabundant mercies to us, O oh, beloved of the Lord, God is merciful. Beloved, God is merciful. Beloved, God is merciful. Oh, beloved, the God we worship is a merciful God. God shows mercy. He keeps no score of wrong. This mercy is seen in the fact that there is no sin he cannot forgive. In all of the Bible, we find God's mercy, but three parables are very specific. The parable of the lost sheep, confer Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 7. The parable of the lost coin, Luke chapter 15 verses 8 to 10. And the parable of the lost son or the prodigal son, Luke Chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. God will stop at nothing just to win over one sinner. And it gives him great joy when one sinner repents over 99 virtuous men who are in no need of his mercy. Jesus even said he came to call sinners and not the virtuous. Luke chapter 5, verse 32. Just to show how much mercy he has. Everything we do and all we are or hope to be depend on the mercies of God. Beloved, beloved, if God were not merciful, who would survive? If God were not merciful, we would not be here talking. For if you, O Lord, were to mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found Mercy, mercy, a very generous God. For in him is found forgiveness. In him is found mercy. For in him is found generous love. The divine mercy apostolate was propagated by St. Faustina. Merciful Jesus, I trust in you. Merciful Jesus, I trust in you. O oh, most merciful Jesus, I trust in you. What does this mean for us? To trust in God's mercies, beloved, means we should run to him and we should not be lost because of fear. 
there are many Christians who are lost because of fear. We find some saying, I cannot go to church because if I go to church, my sins are too many and they will burn the church. Oh no, beloved. No, no. They say it in pidgin English. I know if you go to church. If I go, my bad go burn church. That is the more reason why God wants you. He came for sinners. He came for you. Sometimes it is some of us who claim a holier than thou attitude who scare sinners from coming to God because we point fingers at them or even describe them with our mouths. Look at that one. What is she coming to do in church? Look at that one. What is he coming to do in church? Oh, beloved of the Lord, we are all sinners. And if God were not merciful to you, you would not be where you are. So therefore, give an opportunity for others who come to God to benefit from his mercy. Do not scare them away. Do not push them away. Let us benefit from God's mercy and give an opportunity for others. If you are a sinner, do not be lost in fear. God is merciful and wants you to enjoy his mercy. But let us also be careful. Do not relax and take God's mercy for granted, saying, after all, God is merciful and go on sinning. No, beloved. The fact that God is merciful is an invitation for us to rush and benefit from his mercy. Do not relax in your sin so much so that you feel so comfortable in your life of sin. Yes, God is merciful. He is always ready to show mercy, but do not take it for granted. Rush to him and benefit from that mercy. In the gospel, Thomas the apostle, who had doubted that Jesus had risen from the dead, today, in the gospel story, Jesus appeared again and invited him out of his mercy. Thomas, come and see, touch, be believing, and do not have doubts. In the same gospel story, he gave the apostles the power to forgive sins. We are told, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. This is the power that Jesus gave the apostles that he has also extended to priests. Many ask, why do we go to confess our sins to human beings? Are priests not also human? Hey, hey, hey. Go back to today's gospel story. Jesus gave the power to the apostles. Whosoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven. That is the power. And that is why we go to priests. Because they have been given the power. It is God who forgives sins through the priests. And so... We go to the priests for confession because to them has been granted the power for the forgiveness of sins. Go to the priest, beloved. Confess your sins and enjoy God's mercy in the confessional. Whatever you have done, God is always ready to forgive you. Do not stay back. Let nothing hold you back from benefiting from God's mercy. O oh, merciful Jesus, I trust in you. O oh, most merciful Jesus, I trust in you. O oh, divine mercy, let us benefit from the mercy of God and extend this mercy to others. Amen. Have a very wonderful Divine Mercy Sunday. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>